We live. What up, what up, guys? It's your boy Night Rider 707, aka A hey, Man, out here at the Law and Sight with my man, Nathaniel McQueen L, aka Nayball, man. We covering um this whole Law and thing and his life. I'm gonna just do a spin around so y'all can see once people come on, go live. What we doing? Like a, I'm doing like a little short piece on his life, man, um, and on Law and all together. So we out here. So. Hey, Nabal, man, we live right now, man. Yeah, I want to finish telling you about Tony Fortune. You know, he was like a, like a son to me and tree. Like we raised him. And he just, the thing that was unique about him is that he adapted all of our negative qualities, you know, our aggression and violent tendencies and behavior. And he became to be known as one of the Lawton's infamous, you know, and uh, he was got extremely good with his hands, and he learned the extortion game for me. He started extorting guys, so then when he went home, he was doing a lot of robbing and extorting, you know. When he came back, and I talked with him, and I told him, I said, look, man, you know, you, you picked up all my negative, me and Tree's negative behaviors, you didn't get none of my positive ones, you know, when you, when you, when you think about what you're doing before you do it and how you protect yourself. Right. You don't get to live as long as I have making mistakes. I say the areas that you robbing, you starting, taking money from, and taking their drugs, I hear that you're going back into those same areas. I say this is how so many brothers got killed, like Hall, Bad, you know, you know, these were notorious Francis Hopper. These was notorious extortionists and robbers, and hustlers. So he said, no, nah. he said, well, he said, neighbor, when I, when I get released, he was scheduled to leave in about three or four days. He said, I'm going home. He said, I'm going to get with my, my cousin. He said, I'm going to get with his business. And he said, I'm going to leave that life alone. But that didn't work out for Tony. He went home. He started robbing. Got back into the same mode. And the next thing I heard, a few weeks after he was out, that some youngster walked up behind him and shot him in the back of the head, head and killed him. Dang. And Tree, he wound up dying over Aquaban from a drug overdose of heroin. Yeah. That's sad. That's sad, for real. And we was actually talking also about yesterday, the 80s, the footage got destroyed somehow. I guess the camera had cut off, but um, I was asking you about Rayfu and them, the, the 80s era. Oh, I know that's after you, but. Yeah, that was after me. Uh, I, 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 you know, I have no negative thoughts about you know, them guys, only the ones that turn to be rat, like Rayfu and Alpo. I didn't, you know, do guy Wayne Perry, I don't have nothing negative to say about him. Right. But I will say that these guys in, in my era in time, we would be calling them Johnny come late. Because when they took control, you know, of the city, you know, when they were, well, they never really took control of it. When they, were, they was perpetrating a lot of violence in the city, you know, and uh, it ended, the city didn't have an underworld. You know, at one point in time, D.C. had a serious underworld, you know, when at nighttime, when the neon lights lit up the city, the hustlers, they became the hosts of the city. You know, the entertainers would come down, they would perform in Howard, and the other theaters we had down here, the Cotton Burn. They used to go to places like Evelyn Grill, you know, Cecilia's. Uh, uh, after our spot, you know, and several other Bob Wayne them after our spot. They, the after our spots are where you go in after the city had closed down. You could do gambling, you could get alcohol there, you could get your drugs, you could also get uh, sex, you know, you could get females, you know, anything you wanted in the city after our, you know, the after our spots had. Right. And, uh, and and it was the, the hustlers that host the underworlds. It was like the, the, the pimps, the drug boys, the 
number backers. The number backers were, were, were the people who put out the numbers. Pretty much like the government. That's where the government got their third from doing the numbers. We, we created the numbers. Right. You know, and, uh, and then you had your bootleggers, you know, you had your shot players, shot players, that's big pocket, it's called big pocket. You had your grifters, you had your con artists playing the long con, the short con. You know, it was a hustler's venue, a hustler's town, you know, and, uh, and then you had your gangsters. Yeah. You know, you, you had guys like the Loach, you know, guys William like Bernie Cooper, uh, uh, George Hart, Loach's nickname was Horse. You know, them three, I named them right off the top because they had served time in the infamous Alcatraz. Then you had one of the infamous, you know, uh, so-called, you know, by the media called Gangster. I'm not calling him Gangster, you know, but he was vicious. That was Harry Hawkins. Notably, the most vicious criminal underworld figure in the history of D.C. was Harry Hawkins. And uh, we had uh, Francis Hopper, and Harry Hawkins was vicious with his hands. He was vicious. He turned out a lot of top of the line boxes. And D.C. were known for their fighters at that time. Francis Hopper was another one, extortionist to rob drug boys to sell drugs. You know, the Loach killed him. Well, he was convicted of killing him and his and, and his wife inside a car. All that's in the book. Oh yeah. The history of that, yeah. And we definitely gonna uh, yeah. cover that as well too. Yeah, and then you uh, had people like uh Schoolboy, you had people like Raymond Broadwater, Big John Joseph, you know, you had you you know, had my man Virginia Rudy, who I learned so much from. You know, that got killed in 69. He was vicious. Got, you know, vicious murderer and extortionist and robber. You know, and my whole point is, you know, before, you know, the Jamaicans came down here and New York, New Yorkers, they, they couldn't have survived. If they had came down to this city, Alpo and Wayne and all of them, no. They had to deal with the gangsters. And see, and this was before all them drive-by killing when innocent people was getting killed. When during that time, when, when when some killing took place, it was done professional. Yeah, hold, hold on one time real quick, Nayball. Somebody just asked, who's OG? Hey, hold, hold your book up real quick. This is Nathaniel McQueen L, AKA Nayball from DC, from Capitol Hill. He got a lot of history, a lot of history. He's done a lot. We down Lawton right now. Well, what once was Lawton. So I'm, a, I'm just gonna do a quick spin around. Oh, this is what's left of law, and they kind of tore down a made lot, built up houses, yeah, made a community. And man, Napal basically became a star down here when we came down here to walk around and stuff. People started wanting to know, like people that's actually living in the community now and out here, yeah, they want wanting to know, yeah, the book, wanting to know the history of where they living at, cause they hearing things. My bad, Napal, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's quite yeah. all right. So I don't know. You want to um, want to walk back to uh, that section over there where the um, the tower was. You want to walk back over? There? Yeah, real quick, just to show that. That's all. I'm, and then we can um, pretty much wrap it up out here. Okay. Well, yeah. So if uh, okay. Yeah, I just wanted. Oh yeah. Park, go back, park yeah, I don't want. I don't want to stop the live. All right, okay. we can go to the car still. Then. We can still go to the car. Yeah. No, we go. Right. Yeah. So for those who just yeah, tuning in, man. Cat mall was right here. Right. Where this pool is at. So you show you show the pool right there? This was hey, the cat mall was main gate right here. There's a pool. They got a pool back right there. Over here, see this door right here? This was the kitchen area with the pots and pan where they should cook the food. This area right here was the dining room area. This is the door we used to go in to, to, to get free. It's a door on the opposite side, too, and there's a door on the back side. This dining room was real big. You see, all this is part of the cat box. Yeah. And right out here, this used to be the meal room. It's no longer there. It's a parking lot right there. So you want to walk back around to the main tower. 
No, nah, not the main tower. Not all we, that's all we up front, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, because nah, nah, nah. yeah, we, we've been out here for a minute. I just wanted to go live real quick. Thanks for sharing the history of it. No, nah, absolutely. Hell yeah. What's that, Zoe? What's going on, man? My bad, because I, I could barely see the messages out. It's real sunny out. We've been out here. We've been getting um, a lot of coverage of Lawton. Um, Nabal been real cool, man. He, he like, walk, we walked around this whole joint and he's telling me about everything that's going on around here. We also uh, got some other footage yesterday, not from down here, but at the house and stuff in the music room. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be something real. That's what I've been doing. So anybody been wondering why I ain't been uploading, um, that's what I've been doing. I had to read that book, The Hills of DC, man. It's almost 700 pages. So it's very, very, very thorough. There's no way that the video that we do is gonna be able to cover that whole thing, but when y'all see that video that I'm putting together now, it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. It, it, to me, it's going to be able to top any story that I've done or, or, or plan on doing. One key word you said about the book, and you said at least three or four times, you said it was amazing. Absolutely. The European saying was powerful, historical, and educational, and every race and every age should read. Absolutely. Yeah, she done a review on it. Her number five star review was up on Amazon. Yeah, and you guys DC can pick guys, that joint up. DC guys can buy it directly from me. They can save money for, or, you know, if you're from somewhere else, then get it from Amazon. Right, DC or, or in the area, surrounding in area. The area. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna put it in the These comments. These are the dormitories right here. You know. Still got numbers on. You can see down 22 is fading. I can see it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? There's 23. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There were 14. You can see the numbers on. I'm going to change that title before somebody think I'm clickbaiting. Uh huh. Yeah. 21 down. There was the backside of the kitchen. That was 13 down. With them cars that used to be the bath house, that's what you should come to when you first come down here. Yeah, so my, who that? Who that? That jock strap? Uh, he said, how can we get the book from him? Um, he's he's getting ready to order some more copies. They want to get the, the physical copy Is from Is he from you. D.C.? Oh, let me see who that. South Carolina right there. Oh, jo okay. uh, jock strap, I think, from the area. Jock strap from the area, I think. Well, um, if, you know, if he don't, if he don't want to wait to get it from me, tell him they can get it on Amazon.com. You know, uh, yeah. when you post that video, uh, you know, uh, I'll you put can, the link in. Um, okay. okay, we got one, Zoe in Richmond. That's why I say anybody within that from the area, um, maybe they could just wait on on you to get the physical copies. And, and, they, and I'll sign it for them. Yeah, get that signed copy. That's what I got right there, you holding in his hand, a signed copy. Only thing is, I didn't get a chance to get it from you. I wish I would have had the. Yeah, you got it from Amazon. Yeah. But you got it signed. Yeah, absolutely. Straight like that. Yeah, infamous Lord. I'm waiting to get it from the horse's mouth. Yes, sir. That's what Jock said. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He going to get them joints on deck. A lot of memories down here. A lot of memories, man. Yeah. Good talking with you, brothers. All right, so we about to get wrap it up, y'all. I ain't want to stay on too long. I just wanted to touch bases online and, um, you know, let Nabal do his thing, speaking or whatever. And yeah, it's gonna be a video coming, like, on him and everything. Lawton, DC, back in the days before the '80s, something completely different. So, man, again, just stay tuned, man. Let me again. Let me emphasize. Yeah. If you're in the D.C. area and you're close by, you know, like in Merle, Virginia, and not far away, you know, you can get the book directly from me. I'm getting ready to order some books. I'll be coming back down here in Lawton because I got a rack of people down here in Lawton that's trying to get it. If, you, if you're from another area out of town, then go to Amazon.com. Don't Google it. Go to Amazon.com. Once you get on Amazon.com, put it in the hills of D.C. Because if you Google it, it's going to give you the original page and it's going to say that they're not in stock. So go to Amazon.com 
then put it in the heels of DC. Yes, Thanks. sir. We about to head out, man. All right. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Oh, they say keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. All right, yeah, I got some other videos coming too, man. But um, yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. We out.